Evergrey, The Atlantic, 10 tracks, 54 minutes, the 11th album from the Swedish dark melodic metal band released January 2019 via AFM Records, produced by Jakob Hansen. Two primary tracks have been released so far in A Silent Arc and Weightless. This is apparently the third in a trilogy of albums that may or may not conclude the overall story. Oh, I didn't know. It was, it was like a concept album. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Cool. Well, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. I've, <laughs> I've known the name Evergrey for almost as long as I've been a Dream Theater fan, so well over 20 years, but I've never actually really dug deep into their catalogue. I've heard really? a song here and there, but it hasn't really grabbed me. But this album won me as a fan. This is a fucking amazing listen. Okay. Um, compared to what I have heard, they appear to have upped everything. The, um, the melodies, <clears throat> the aggression, the guitar playing, the drumming, everything is just on next level from what I have heard them do in the past. I could be wrong, I haven't checked out a full album. Uh, the vocals are amazing and the lyrics mm. are really interesting. There's a lot of depth and thought in these. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to get this on CD, I'm going to listen along with the lyrics sheet because there's a lot of weight to these songs. Um, it's very dark and very brooding atmosphere. I'm sure it has a lot to do with the subject matter that they're basing their songs on. If you like complex arrangements and impressive musicianship, this is one for you. I gave this 9 out of 10. Uh, Weightless, all I have, uh, The Secret Atlantis, Departure in the Ocean. And I guess I'm going to have to listen to the two previous albums to hear the trilogy. Yeah, mm. yeah so this album uh, starts off with what suspiciously sounds like a Gojira song. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. but uh that's not intended as a knock i think that's awesome because it's a great song and the riffs are great um as uh dave said the lyrics are probably for mine the highlight of this um everything's uh, really well thought out and you can tell they've put a lot of effort into which makes sense if it's a concept album mm. to put a lot into the stories and whatnot i do think um for mine I think I'm going to have to listen to, again, the first two albums to probably get it. Because for me, it did feel a little bit disjointed on the back end of the album, you know, listening to it from start to finish. Um, but again, if that's a, a third album in a trilogy, that's probably more on me not listening to the previous ones on that. Uh, I do think All I Have, though, is a fucking great song. Um, that's you kind of really captured that uh, kind of... Um, almost like a typo negative Tiamat kind of vibe, mm, yeah. but with a more accessible vocal styles so that, that, you know, baritone voice can really put some people off. Uh, I gave it seven out of 10. Uh, that was probably my highlight track. And yeah, this is a good album if you're into that kind of style of music. But yeah, probably check out the back catalog as well. Yeah, for me, sonically, this was flawless. Mm, like, no, it was fuck, good. Did, it, well, yeah. did it sound good? The layering with the keys, and the way it's mixed and just where everything was sitting yeah. it's just like fuck man how and then it just got me taken back to when i was you know half my age to where productions were mm. and you thought that sounded good and yeah, then yeah, you're getting these albums coming mm -hmm. through and it's just like wow this you is know? how to use the advancement technology and do it yeah, well. yeah yeah um the one thing that i did like was just when you thought when it was locking down it was getting heavy he still sang with a melodic yeah, yeah. vocal and a very pulled back very calm almost vocal yeah. which was very unique and different you mm. expected to get aggressive when the music got yeah. aggressive it just didn't happen um and i really enjoyed that dynamic like i thought that was really refreshing and very unique like i don't know much about this band i'm like dave i've heard the name mm. never i actually never heard a song until now um i just i don't know why you just sort of you hear names and you go oh mm. yeah it sounds like i should invest some time into it and life yeah, it gets, gets live, yeah. you know, and yep. you, you don't get around to it. So I thought it was great. And I didn't know it was actually the third of, yeah. or the trilogy mm -hmm. of a concept sort of idea, which is cool. Um, I didn't feel it sounded like a concept album, which I think concept albums for me lately have been very drawn out and long and a like lot of filler class. in between, you know. Mm -hmm. um, as we're talking off air, like The Astonishing, yeah, for example, just had much. too much crap <laughs> yeah. in, in between the songs. Um, if you're if you're fans of bands like I Fear and Symphony X, yeah, I yeah. think you're going to get into this. If you, if you don't know about them Symphony already, Symphony X in particular, yeah, like um, yeah. yeah, that's um, a good one. I think this is a must-have in anyone's uh, you know arsenal. Really, I think it's a fucking good album. Weightless, Currents, A Secret, Atlantis, and This Ocean. Uh, my standouts, and I gave it a nine out of ten. Nice. 
this is one that's been hyped up behind the scenes. I think Nick called this like album of the year without even listening to it because <laughs> he, he said those guys never release a bad album. I'm just like, okay, a few of us are going off a bit early this year on certain things. There's already been a gig of the year. Yeah, and two of them, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's going to be interesting. We're not even into March. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. So just when, decided I'm not going to go to any more gigs. Yeah, that's actually probably true. I'm kidding. Yeah, but the, the, the thing is, when you when you get an album or anything that's really hyped up behind the scenes, we all sort of go into it with a bit of trepidation because we, the last time we had that album was Night Flight Orchestra and we got the review <laughs> online, so we'll how that went. Um, <laughs> emphasis for this one needs to be placed on melodic because that's the part that's the hook on this. Yeah. You put this on, you crank it up, and you lock yourself away with this one. This is one that needs your attention. 11, 11 albums in, if there was any doubt these guys can perform, you can forget it. Uh, tight as all fuck, and they fit together so well. It's fast and pounding, slow and spacious. Every aspect, performance-wise, is nailed on this record. I love the lead guitar work, and the vocals are nothing short of fantastic. Uh, nothing is left behind, though. The, the rhythm section holds it together, and the use of the piano and the synth was bang on for this style of music, yeah, too. absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> and the composition was epic in every way. Hooks and melodies about this, but the... The songs certainly stay with you, and the emotion has been really well captured. Like that was really well done, um, and I love how they switched things from heavy to light, and they never lost the the melody the whole way through. Great change within the songs. This whole thing has been composed, I feel, as a concept, and it works well. There's great energy. It just hooks you and, and gets into your deep with this one. It's very well written. The lyrics tie hand in hand with that. It's epic, uh, grand scope, and the concept is there very well told the emotion here is stunning in the lyrical content like you were saying it's very deep it's one of those ones you want to sit through a lyric sheet but it's really well done uh, the more I listen to this one the more it's like it's dragging me into the depths of this album uh, it's a deep listen but it's riveting it's a very well told story and the songs are like chapters in a novel on this you can feel yeah. how big the story is for this one even if you haven't heard the other ones so I have a review it's a perfect ones. title The Atlantic yeah, it doesn't get much bigger than that no, does it really? it's, it's <laughs> really cool Production-wise, this is just wow. It's amazing. They've given this such a rich atmosphere. Everything is captured wonderfully and presented to you in a rich tapestry of sound. It's impeccably layered. There's a bit mm. going on in this, but it, and it, but it, like the Atlantic, they have taken everything from it because sonically, this gives you the push and pull of the ocean. Like yeah. I really yeah. felt that when I was yes. listening to it. Yes. Uh, it's a dip. A deep, rich listen. Uh, I love how the things build and then decline on this, like the swelling of the tide. Like the whole thing really felt like the ocean to me. Every little detail, every little tone. It's wonderful to listen to and it's all fully present in the mix. And the foley touches they applied were just right as well. The album flow was bang on. Uh, I love the brief instrumental track stuck right in the middle of the album. It's a bit of a calm in the storming kind of moment that was done there. This is how you do it. This is how you do a concept record for mine. Uh, it's a bit long, maybe for some, but it makes sense. The execution is so well done. The story, apart from the music in this album, is the execution. Like I love the music, I love the lyrics, but the execute, how well it's been executed for mine, not many like that. Flows so well. If you like modern melodic, a real old crafted metal, you need to get onto this. I love the darkness in this, but overall it's damn impressive. I wasn't as big a fan of the previous record. This one has got me. This is a stunning crossover appeal, I think, as well. Pretty much anyone could find something on this record to get into. Yeah, okay. uh, even if nothing else, check out the song that Tim nominated because that would be a good gateway for anyone, I think. This is just a perfectly executed record. Uh, it's a must listen for mine if you're watching this show. It's not boring. It's extremely rewarding. 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, Weightless, Currents, Departure, End of Silence, and The Beacon, my standouts. Check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. Okay, well, that was pretty positive. <coughs> mm. That's TV material, that one. Yeah. <laughs> if we're trying to sell people to listen to something, that would be one. Because even lower score wasn't a bad score. Mm. Uh, Cyanide Sunday. Uh, Kane, Kane, Rob Kane Roberts? Oh, yeah, sorry. Kane Roberts, from my mistake. 